My name is Soparichi Obialaso. I am a social work student at the University of Texas at Arlington. I am here to speak with you about an urgent issue that will only get worse if we do not take action. The issue is the drastic increase in teen and adolescent suicides in the United States. Suicide among young people continues to be a serious problem. It is the second leading cause of death for children, adolescents and young adults ages 15 to 24. In 2007, the prevalence of suicide ideation and suicide attempts reported in youths was high, with 15% of 9th to 12th grade students in the United States. In 2018, the percentile increased among youths aged 10 to 19 in the United States, making suicide the second leading cause of death in this age group. In every 100 minutes, a teen takes their own life and about 20% of all teens experience depression before they reach adulthood. Between 10 to 15% suffer from symptoms at any one time, and only 30% of depressed teens are being treated for it. On January 18, 2019, 14-year-old Lindsay took her own life after facing a series of depression. Her best friend Rachel stated that she always felt lonely and spoke about how she always said, her non-existence will make everyone happy. Rachel's only wish was that Lindsay's symptoms were detected on time before she took her own life. Lindsay was a great daughter and a friend, an A student and a child who aspired on becoming a doctor someday. To prevent crises like this, we need more mental health professionals in both private and public schools in the United States. Because second to home, schools are where most children seek comfort. If a lot of children feel like they have someone to talk to and rely on at schools, maybe some of these mental health disorders can be detected on time to prevent teen and adolescent suicides. So I ask that you vote yes on the Senate Bill 428, which will require all new teachers, as well as those renewing their teaching credentials, to complete a course on youth mental health first aid. This training we help teachers recognize signs of mental distress and substance abuse disorders, as well as refer students to resources that can help them, such as counseling and crisis line. Thank you for your time and your consideration to support this video.